Duncan, a very good morning. Big fella, how are you? Hi, Alan. Hi, Ali. Good morning. Oh, he's been telling me some stories. He's, he's been telling me some stories about you, big fella, in the break. Remember, oh. it's Inverness, Cali Thistle, son. All right, all right. <laughs> Cali <laughs> Thistle. It's a mouthful, I know, but you've got to be saying that up here. I've learned that very quickly. Oh, Absolutely, it's ICT. Cali Thistle. Correct, Fergie. ICT. I, rem- I remember, Duncan, I remember going back... When they merged, there was, there was there was three teams up there at one point. There was Inverness Caledonian, there was Inverness Thistle, and believe it or not, there was Inverness Clachna Cudden. <laughs> there you are. Glad you said that and no me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, mate, we are delighted for you. It's, it's brilliant for for Inverness Cali Thistle. It's brilliant for Scottish football. Tell us how it came about. Did Scott just give you a call right out the blue? He did very quickly. It was very quick, as these things normally are. Um, I was actually heading into the dentist's chair. Actually, I'm talking about the real dentist chair. <laughs> I mean, and uh, I was actually heading heading in for a root canal, and I got a phone call, Ooh. and he actually Ooh. saved me from the chair. So, um, actually, and I was actually actually just going to uh, ready to sit down and get some treatment on my tooth. So he phoned me. He asked me, "Would you be interested to come up and chat to us?" I said, "Absolutely, of course I will. I'm out of job." So uh, that's how quickly it happened. I turned. I got out the dentist chair as quick as I could. Got in the car right. and drove off. Obviously, uh, no realizing how quick, how far Inverness was because it was a long time yeah. since I've been here. I uh, got very quickly. Get out of a root canal for the Caledonian canal. canal. <laughs> but um, right. are you happy? Are you be happy going back home for a while? I don't know how long it's going to last. On you know, are you, is is that excite you because you've been in Merseyside now for a long time, haven't you? I was Alan, yeah, but I mean that, that never really played in my mind at all. Really, mm. I don't, obviously it's a job. It was uh, I looked into the club quite quickly, um, and that's what it was really. It was getting back into football. I went up and spoke to the guys in Avi Moore, and um, I got on well with them. I think they liked what I said, obviously. So that was it really. It was getting back into football. It's a good club. Um, we got big ambition. So and then, then of course coming back to Scotland. I mean this is the second time I've been in Vanessa in my life. The first time is when wow. I went, used to go to the Caravan Park, which is a bit north. Correct. I've been up there. This is only my second time I've been in. So, no, coming back to Scotland's good. I'm glad to be home. Beautiful D- part of the world. Oh, it's well, gorgeous. I, I, I yeah. message big. It's, it's a stunning part of the world. Don't tell me. I know it's very, very early, mate. Um, I mean, I, it's not so long again, Inver- Inverness, obviously, top flight, cup finals, a whole bit. I'm looking yeah. at the side just now, obviously a little bit of a slump, only got one point from six games. However, however, I looked at the, the, the game and I saw the highlights on, 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 on Saturday against Indy United, who are sitting top of the league, and they only scored the winner against the uh, Cali Thistle, I think about 94th minute. So that would give you some hope, eh? It does, it does, Ali, yeah, absolutely. I mean, they're no far away. And the week before, they played Rafe Rovers, who were top of the league, only lost 1-0. Yeah. But we're on a bad a bad run of results, but they're no far away. And that was really one of the reasons as well why I took the job. There's no as if we're getting turned, o- turned over with yeah. heavy, heavy defeats. So we are close. We have got a good squad. They are good players. They're here for a reason. Um, but we've got to make sure we try and turn this um, form around as quick as we can. Don't have you got your, your staff with you lined up? I, I, I know guys like Ray McKinnon were mentioned, but I don't think that's that's possible now. But have you got one or two? And a Gary Bolam is another one that's mentioned. No, have you you're got... staying here. Yeah, yeah. I've got um, yeah, I've got Gary Bolin. Uh, Gary Bolin's going to come in as my assistant. Great. So I'm just bringing in one staff member with me. Um, I know. So he, Gary will be coming with me. So I'm, I'm glad about that. I'm, I know Gary uh, for a long, long time, as you know. I played with him back in the days at Dundee United, so no, um, I'm, I'm glad he's with me. Ah, oh, listen, we really wish you well, and I mean that sincerely. Okay. Yeah, big, big Butch was manager up there, wasn't big, it? Big Terry, big, big, big Terry was up there for a, a a good few years actually, and did did really, really well, mate. What about? I was going to say, don't. Uh, uh, and Big Al mentioned that it's, it's a wonderful part of the country, and it's a little bit early. But have you have you any idea where you're going to stay? There's that many places up there. It's beautiful. Honestly, they've put me in a big lodge, right, right on the right on the side of the River Ness. It's, yeah. it's honestly, it's, it's a hundred yards from where I'm speaking to you just now. It's beautiful. Uh, I just hope I've not spent all the budget on my accommodation. <laughs> 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 get the waders on, big and get out fishing for the salmon. That's my advice. Ali, Ali, I remember, I remember right back in the day, right. This is this was typically you. You've never you've never fished in your life. <laughs> 
You pick up a rod in Dunkel, which is no faffy here. That's right. You walk into the river bank, you throw the you, you throw the thing and you don't know what you're doing and you're hooking a salmon. Yeah, Fuck I, away. I swear to God, that he's telling the truth. He's telling the truth. Because you were there with Gorham, a few of the boys here, and my first cast ever threw it in and got, got a salmon. Unbelievable. <laughs> Is that not there? Right? Hey, Ali, <laughs> yes. Ali, you've been catching salmon ever since, son. <laughs> You're not wrong, mate. Is that not? Is Anach Moore not up there? The ski resort. I think that's up just yeah, past yeah. Inverness. Shorty, Alan, Alan, look, you, you're having a nightmare here, mate. You've obviously not been north for a while. Go I've been more south for here. Aye. It's not too bad. It's only about 30, but 28 miles or something. No, south, Anna, right? Anach Moore. Culloden's, the... Culloden's further along as well, Dunk, isn't it? Let's not talk about Culloden. I, 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 I am. I come from Sun. You're more Bannock Burn. Listen, mate, I want to talk to you briefly while we've got you on. Everton, um, brilliant result the other day there, but oh, they're, not, not they're, not, they're not having their troubles to seek. Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously Everton's a, a big part of me. It's in my blood, as you know. Um, I watch it a little bit now. I still keep, it, keep in contact with many boys down there. Um, they have got a good team. I, I believe they'll climb the league. Um, obviously, they've got one or two issues off the field that they're trying to resolve. I know that right now, and I'm sure it'll get done. But I think, they, you know, obviously, a win can turn the whole thing round, can't it? And yeah. it was a great result yeah. away, away at uh, Brentford, and I think Brentford were undefeated there for a long time. So, no. And if they get Dominic back with Beto up front, they go with the two big strikers up there, I think there'll be a handful for anybody, really. And I'm sure they'll climb the table very soon. Ah, Dominic, he does. He has no luck whatsoever, Duncan, has he, with injuries? None at all. I think when you're on that you're on that slope a wee bit, it's very hard to get off it, isn't it? And I know the, I know the kid lives a good life, a clean life. I know he's trying everything he can to keep himself fit. Uh, he is a very good player. When he's fit and healthy, he scores goals. And he'll be a big asset to Everton. And I'm sure if they keep him fit and on the pitch... He'll, he'll, he'll chip him at least 15 goals, no problem. But she'll, but she'll push him up to mid-table quite comfortably, I would think. Now, shortly after this, we're going to be joining the show by a man you know very well, Dunk. Listen, have a wee listen to this. I'll just get in my head. See you in the tunnel there, Dunk. I see you in the tunnel. He's waiting in the tunnel with his shirt off. <laughs> I've got 10 minutes to play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking over, Lee McCullough's going, look at the tunnel, I'm looking over like that, I'm going, oh no, final whistle went, I'm still giving a standing ovation, all that's left is a pigeon and a crisp packet, <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to walk in, <laughs> and he grabs me round the neck, picks me up and sort of gives it to me proper, and all the boys are running and left me, <laughs> but what people don't know that story, two weeks after I went to Goodwood Races, big dunks there. The only person I didn't want to see. You know when you walk in a bar and someone's there, I'm like, oh, I'm melted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. We're delighted to see Jimmy Bullard has joined us early so we could re- re- reunite the two of you. Jimmy, a very good morning. Are you shaking, pal? Yes, boys. What's happening? I can't believe you've got big dunk on. This is a full blast stitch up. <laughs> Jim, I've got it. Jimmy, you okay, son? How are we, dunk? You all right, mate? <laughs> I'm all good, mate. I, w- I would never be taking my top off now, mate. <laughs> do you remember that, Doug? Oh, mate. I didn't know what to do. I'm most sure I'm most sure oh, about... mate, last 10 minutes, I melted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, the other day's part one, it was fantastic, wasn't it? Always remember, yeah. a good boxer always picks his victims. <laughs> you're a wee, you're, you're a wee, you were a wee bit out of your weight class that day. <laughs> Jimmy, I've got to ask you, mate. Jimmy, <laughs> uh, I've been down to ask you for years. Just what were you thinking about, lad? <laughs> you know what? I- it was a boring game. There's about 5,000 people at the JJB. And um, I don't know what I was thinking to this day. Um, <laughs> Lee McCullough was playing you, you on the team. Thinking. And he, he said to me, as soon as I could dunk some of his walking off, um, he said, I wouldn't have done that, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know to this day, Al, honestly. I don't know what I was doing. Was one do, do, you know Alan, do you know, Alan and Jimmy, I got a seven-game ban that day. Well, I mean, I, I've got, I actually got, hey. I actually got two red cards, and I'm, and I'm glad I never got another one in the tunnel. Fergie, I've known you, you know what, lo- Fergie, I've known you long enough, and that's no bad for you, by the way. <laughs> you take that, man. <laughs> hey, I've had bigger bands, haven't I, son? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a blinder. Blow you. Do you know that game out? Do you know he only got pulled on? You got pulled on, Dunk. You was on the bench. You, he only pulled you on 75 minutes. You lasted about three minutes. <laughs> Tell you what, son, I've been on front of the bench a few times as well. <laughs> uh, how's it going up there, though? All good, mate? It's all good, Jimmy. It's lovely. Lovely part of the world. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, you know what it's like now. It's serious business. Now you need to try and get results, mate. You know what I mean? But it's, it's a yeah, great place yeah. and I'm delighted to be here. Really looking well, forward mate. to it. 
you know, I hope you're well, pal. Good Keep luck to you. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm in you playing golf. Not bad. Uh-huh. Uh, Duncan, listen, good luck. We're going to keep an eye on the results, uh, results for Magic you, that's Duncan. for sure. And we're, d- we're delighted you're back in the game. Well done, Duncan. I'll see you, Paul. Take care. I'll see me, Ali. God bless, son. Love Take you. care. Cheers, Duncan. Hey, Jimmy, what about McCoy's here? One cast of a, a line and he, he hooks a that's salmon. Un- Can you believe it? That's un- <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, I'm going to tell you something, and it is 100% true. You could not make it up, mate. Well, it was a fish on it before uh, you chucked it in. That's very good. First cast. He brought his own up. He brought his own up. Oh, that's that some doing as well. The size of them locks and rivers out there. You've just flown that straight in front of it. Oh, my God, honestly. <laughs> Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.